guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be lip swatching for you my collection of the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks. Let me just cut to the bottom line of my review here. I freaking love these. These are my favorite, like my holy grail liquid lipsticks. So many colors to choose from. Just such a nice, fluffy, cushiony formula that looks so good on the lips, lasts such a long time, and love them. They do sell for right around the $20 price point, but I do have a coupon code which I will leave below so you can get them at an even better price. That code is actually good for your entire Ofra order, so I will, yes, leave that below. That's pretty short and sweet, but that's all that I wanted to say in the intro. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and zoom in and do some lip swatches. First shade is Angelus. This is a really beautiful nude color. A little too nude for my preference to wear by itself, but I do really love to mix this with other colors to customize colors and to get them a little bit lighter or to put it right in the center of the lips. Next is Laguna Beach, one of my favorite colors out of the range, probably my favorite everyday type color, and it's just a really beautiful peachy pink everyday type color. You just can't go wrong with this shade, absolutely love it. Next is Bel Air, which is a more of a beigey, peachy color on me. Not one of my favorite to wear on its own, but I do enjoy mixing this with other shades to create more custom concoctions. Pasadena, which I have a hard time saying that, I'm not sure why, but it's just more of a kind of a beigey nude. A little bit of, of peach in there, but really beautiful color. Really love that. I am smiling with my teeth for each lip swatch just to give you guys an idea of how the color, how each color looks against the teeth. Next is Rio, more of a somewhat of a brighter, it's not super neon, but it is more of a brighter peachy orangey color. With the teeth smiling, it can give you a good idea of if the color is going to make your teeth look a little bit more yellow. Some colors can do that and some can make your teeth look more white. And then next is Plumas. Plumis, which has a little bit of a shine. It's not metallic, it's not sh super shimmery, but it's not a creamy matte like the other shades. Like most of the other shades are more of a creamy matte, but this one does have some little bit of shine to it. Next is Mocha, one of my favorite colors out of the range, and it's just that really popular 1995 lipstick color, which everybody loves, and it's just really beautiful. And then we have Panama, which you can see is a little bit brighter of a color, more of a peachy with a little bit of pink, not quite neon, but very pastel and very bright. Not one of my favorite to wear on its own, but I do love mixing this. And then Saint Tropez, which I really love. It's almost like a pink with a little bit of purple to it, like a lilac -y purple. Kind of reminds me of NARS lip liner in El Agua, but very, very wearable. Palm Beach is just a very candy pink color. A little bit bright, but not super bright that it's not wearable. I do find this one to be very wearable, even though it is a brighter pink. <laughs> Las Vegas, which is a lavender, a bright lavender color. I like this color. I know a lot of a lot of people wouldn't wouldn't like this color, but I actually quite like it. And a little insight to my life, I actually got married in Las Vegas. Boom. Hollywood, another one of my favorites. More of a rosy pink color. Very, very wearable. A nice, beautiful everyday color. I actually really enjoy mixing this one with the color mocha. Just for a more rosy 1995 liquid lipstick color love and then we have the beautiful Santa Monica which is a berry color but more of a pinky berry a fuchsia berry if we're gonna get technical <laughs> but still very wearable and not overly bright Daytona Beach is an orange 
an orange creamsicle almost. I think it's really pretty for being an orange color. I think it's very, very wearable. You'll notice in the next shot that I actually had an outfit change because I had to film the rest of my lip swatches on a separate day. So this makeup that you're seeing here, there will be a tutorial, all drugstore tutorial coming soon. So stay tuned. But this shade is Malibu, a really beautiful purple with a little bit of berry. I absolutely love that color. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> Americano is like a rich brownish red. It's so pretty. A little bit of a different color for me, but I find that to be very, very flattering and I quite enjoy it. Honolulu is a deep, as you can tell, rich, rusty red with a little bit of brown. I think it's, again, I think it's so beautiful and it really does make the teeth look white. It's just a great fall and winter shade. Santa Anna. This is one of my favorite shades as well. This is just a beautiful rose berry shade. It is a little bit deeper than like an everyday type nude shade, but so very wearable. Purple Rain <laughs> is kind of a metallic purple, as you can see. Not one of my favorites, just because when I wear liquid lipsticks, I like it to be that creamy matte finish and this one obviously is metallic new orleans i really love this color this is a obviously like a berry purple fuchsia color and i just you can't go wrong with this color if you don't have a shade like this in your collection you need one for sure and the last shade that i have to share with you is venice which is a bright reddish orange color reminds me of mad men <laughs> And uh, I feel like I'm married to John Draper when I wear this color. Anybody feel me? You guys know what I'm talking about? All right, guys. So those are the lip swatches. I hope the video was helpful. I hope it maybe gave you some ideas of colors that you would like to check out. If you do already have some of these colors, let me know what your favorites are. I would love to know. And yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you will subscribe to my YouTube channel here if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.